Hello dudes, today I'm going to be drawing a five point mandala. So I'm going to start by making the grid and it'll be the size of um, Metatron's cube. But I'm not actually going to draw all of Metatron's cube, you know what I mean. It'll be, the diameter of it will be five circles. And then I'm going to use those circles to create the grid and guide where the shapes in the mandala need to be. So now I need to divide it into five so I've got to find my horizontal line and then divide this section in half. Find the measurement that will help me divide it into five. And then I'm going to do it again on the bottom so it will actually be divided into ten. Then I'm going to use the same measurement and I'm going to put the compass on the left and the right. Divide it further so then it will be divided into twenty. That will be enough I reckon. Twenty sections for this and then I'm going to use the circles that would have made up the Metatron's cube as my guidelines for all the rest of the shapes so I'll just draw the pentagon I'm going to do one facing up and one facing down and again this is just going to be a guide for the actual mandala I just want to make sure that it's all totally balanced using sacred geometry it's kind of an experiment really I don't think I don't think I've ever drawn a mandala this way before where nothing is measured by the eye because a lot of the time with mandalas I'll just I'll draw the shape first and then that'll decide the structure of the pattern but this one is going to be totally decided by geometry all right I'm going to make a little flower in the middle the reason I'm going with the pentagon is because I just want to do a mandala that's similar to a flower because if you look at most flowers in nature they are based on pentagons. They have five petals or a bunch of petals that start from five. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty similar to a flower, I guess. I mean, they always are, aren't they? With the petals and everything, but this will be more accurate. I'm just gonna put five petals on each row and work my way until I get to the tip of the pentagon. There's something extremely satisfying about using all these guidelines that are based on sacred geometry because I don't know that's how it would be in nature you know that's how everything is designed isn't it using geome sacred geometry all right then and that's the sketch done so I've just rubbed out the lines a bit so that I can go over with the ink and yeah, that's all I gotta do now is just outline it. I'm designing this mandala for a t-shirt. I do a t-shirt of the month on Patreon. So for everyone that is signed up to my Patreon, I send them a new t-shirt every month and this is gonna be one of the designs. And I'll also be putting it up in the shop, but my patrons always get it first. Alright, that's the main part of the outline done. Um, now I'm just going to rub out all the lines and get ready to start shading. I'm going to do a lot of dots on this one. It's looking good, eh? Looking clean. Yeah, so I'm just going to put loads of dots. I'm using a 0.05 uni pin fine liner for all of these dots. And just taking my time to get a nice fade. Might start making this a weekly thing. Should I do it weekly? Like, just do a mandala every week. Actually, I actually wanted to do a mandala every day because of um, Carl Jung, who was saying that drawing a mandala is um, like a window to the psyche. And by getting people to draw mandalas, they could tell how a person was feeling, what kind of situations they were in. So it would be interesting to draw a mandala every day and just... Um, see how much they change i wouldn't be able to do them very detailed they'd have to be really simple mandalas because there's other stuff i want to be working on you know i don't know maybe one time maybe one day i'll start a project that will be like i don't know like 365 days of mandalas so when i'm laying down the ink for the first time like straight over the pencil i'll always just do one pass 
and just get some just a simple outline and then later on I'll add some more weight to the lines when I feel they need it just to give it a bit more depth and a bit of contrast it's all about contrast making a good uh, a good pattern all about contrast Be the last bit of shading pretty happy with that should look good on a t-shirt as always if you want to watch this in real time head over to my patreon there's also like a longer time lapse of this if you want to just get more of an insight into how i work and yeah that should do it thanks for watching Ta -ra.